It is. It's already muggy feeling, and we're going to keep that muggy feeling in the air all week long, as promised in first alert weather. 8 out of 10 for my comfort index for today. Very small chance of a pop-up shower thunderstorm. I think our greatest chance may arrive later on tonight. We'll see how the data holds as we head on to the overnight hours. But nonetheless, it's going to be a warm and muggy day with highs into the upper 80s. Live look over downtown South Bend on our first alert weather camera. Look behind some of these buildings here. Notice these clouds, these low clouds that are around. We do have some pockets of haze and fog that is across Michigan. And nothing that's really going to slow you down, but you just may notice that if you're driving on some of these backcountry roads this morning, look out Laporte and Knox coming in at our lowest visibility just below one mile. Want to break down our severe weather risks of for this week. Yesterday we did have a few thunderstorms. Thankfully, nothing strong and or severe. And I think that's really going to be the case today and tomorrow as well. We're going to keep these rain chances fairly minimal. Best chance of showers over the the next 48 hours really coming into play tonight and before sunrise Wednesday. And then as we head into Thursday and Friday, I think it's going to end up being our best chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. I'll slip out of the way so you can read that text there. They are greatest chance for showers and thunderstorms as we round out this week. We'll head our way Thursday evening right on into Friday with heavy rain, lightning, maybe even a few gusty wind speeds that we'll have to keep an eye on. Putting this into motion, hour by hour, with first alert weather feed track. We'll tap into some sunshine for the afternoon, downright muggy, and with heat index values flirting with around 90, 95 degrees. Here's that one chance here, and maybe some showers and thunderstorms headed our way overnight. And that should end before daybreak Wednesday. If you have any chair cushions outside today, make sure just to put those away just in case we get that passing shower thunderstorm tonight uh, before you head to bed. Then as we head on into Thursday, Thursday will likely end up being our greatest chance, I think, into Friday for some showers and thunderstorms. And that would arrive mainly Thursday afternoon and evening. Here we are pause 9 p.m. Thursday with some showers and thunderstorms that we'll keep our eye on in first alert weather. But nonetheless, we're going to watch out for additional rain chances. We're going to be looking at another half an inch, maybe an inch into the rain gauge over the course of the next five days and just downright steamy yeah. <laughs> today through Thursday where the heat indices are going to crack around uh -huh. 90 to 95 degrees. Mm. We knew we'd get here <laughs> one day, right? Yeah, Arc de Triumph just, behind just us. In time for those kids to go back to school here always, in America. Always when the band camp start, football yeah. practices Wait, start. Wait, actually, you're right. I drive yeah. by Penn High School, and they've been out there practicing Happens every for a year. while. As soon as the practices start yeah. back up, heat returns. And yeah. that's exactly what, you know, gets you, you know, the yeah. stories for later. You know, I love it. You get to brag that you were out there Two doing days. it. Again, I point out, Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. Yes, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. We, oui. bonjour. Yeah. That's it. I That's agree. All That's all you got. That's it. <laughs> We're going to have more on that later. Absolutely. All right. New information now. Indiana lawmakers have passed a bill lowering the age at which.